from Final Fantasy era. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, normally, I'd be doing a playthrough of Final Fantasy IV right now, but I just saw that there was a new trailer released for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is a sequ uh, sequel to Final Fantasy VII Remake, um, which right now is my favorite Square Enix game of all time. It's, well, I, I think it's the best Square Enix game of all time. It's not my favorite. Final Fantasy IV. I'm going to make a, a listed order in my, I think, next time we meet with Tim. But I was excited to take a look at this trailer. Just wanted to give a little precursor of how much I love. I've got to turn my sound off. So here we go. Let's see what we got here. We're still here at the scene of this terrible disaster caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. Amidst the wreckage of the expressway, search and rescue mm -hmm. operations are already in progress. What is that? <sighs> wow. Just look at it all. It's so green. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he Hunting been? Deer. And you're asking me this? This is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was yeah, Chocobo writing. Life stream. Professor. It is the very essence of our star. What's his name? The I can't blood remember. coursing through its planetary veins. That's uh. According to Hojo, Red Thirteens. Connected to Sephiroth. Dad. The shadows I think. of the uh, adopted. I believe he called them. <coughs> Sephiroth was in Midgar. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what. Well now, I think we woke it up. Angered it more like. Feast your eyes on the Turks' latest and greatest, mm. Elena. She may be new, but she's still a Turk. Elena's showing up. As a no, as an enemy. It does look pretty open world, as the rumors indicated. Which is awesome. Having cleared Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, yesterday. I can test to that, probably put 100 plus hours into it. Highly recommended by the way. Away from me! They say she's a monster. That she she's can peer monster? inside you. Into the very depths of your soul. That she can become those you hate. Those you fear. Those you love. Three. Yeah. Yeah. You murdered my dad! You burned my village! You know that I killed her. So, who is she? The plot thickens. So I know they're bragging about how it's on two discs and all that. It's very interesting. Um, I noticed that the graphics have improved significantly, probably because it's run on PlayStation 5 hardware. Um, thoughts in general? I think it looks very fun. I think it looks like an improvement off on, on the first one, uh, introducing a couple new characters. I mean, the Turks. 
I didn't see any new playable characters, though. Um, it, I, it looks very done, so hopefully Square is just polishing things now. And day one release is going to be good. Yeah, I'm excited. Looking for just more action like the open world or more um, information. Like the open world, hate that I have to wait so long to play. It's almost but it'll be near three years, I think, if I, my calculations are right. Um, it looks like they changed the plot a little bit, of course. I don't know why there was an explode. It must not have been an explosion in Midgar. I thought it did say it was an explosion in Midgar in the beginning. So it looks like it might have got some old alternate timelines going on. I just hope they don't mess it up and make it multiverse. Multiverse is such a cop-out. So, yeah, looks great. I'm excited to see it in the next Final Fantasy IV playthrough episode.